15 new Galnet articles have been published, including 11 of note. The first is entitled Vetodyne Nanomedicines Prompt Ethical Dilemma, and reads, The Interstellar Health Organization, IHO, is currently reviewing Vetodyne Labs as nanomedicines, which the company has admitted are based on advanced technology developed by Utopia. Healthcare analyst Dr. Himmerich Ray discussed the situation via Vox Galactica, there are always ethical considerations when approving new medicines. But in this case the IHO has more to consider than usual, not least Pranav Antal's formal complaint that replicating utopian technology without permission is tantamount to theft. Many in the medical community argue that it is selfish of utopia to hoard such revolutionary medicines. As these nanomeds are capable of treating many illnesses and injuries, surely the potential health benefits outweigh questions of ownership. On the other hand, investors have already pumped millions of credits into Vetodyne Labs, convinced that profits will run into the billions if these nanomeds become the galaxy's hottest new commodity. If that happens, only the very wealthy will be able to afford Vitadine's product. The second is entitled Flashpoint for Nova Imperium, and reads, Political journalist Kasia Carvalho has reported on the current conflict with isolationist group Nova Imperium, in recent weeks, Nova Imperium has become a genuine political force. Tensions have now erupted into open conflict in the Parisis system, with Imperial Navy auxiliaries attempting to destroy Nova Imperium's fleet. In return, Imperator Mordenticus has called on the galactic community to fight for Emperor Hengist's long-lost grandson Hadrian Duval to be recognized as an heir to the throne. Whether this is a one-off battle or the beginning of an Imperial Civil War, the outcome of the Battle of Parisa will influence the Welcome future of the Empire. The next is entitled Empire Engages Nova Imperium, and reads, the Empire has entered a state of conflict with the isolationist group Nova Imperium in the Parisa system. Senator Denton Petrus announced, the loyal Imperials of Upini Limited have engaged the isolationists' illegal armada. We call upon Imperial auxiliaries to support our allies and destroy the Nova Imperium fleet. Imperator Mordenticus, leader of Nova Imperium, has requested the support of the galactic community, Nova Imperium's survival depends upon winning this battle. I urge all those who believe that Hadrian Duval should be the Emperor to support us. The two factions have set out week-long campaigns to overcome their foes, which will begin on the 10th of January 3305. The next is entitled Federal and Imperial Campaigns End, and reads, Supply campaigns for the Federal and Imperial Navies have concluded successfully, with traders delivering large amounts of military provisions. The League of Zirla, acting on behalf of the Federal Navy, stated, Many thanks to all the pilots who came through for the Federation. You can now collect your rewards at Payson Hub in the Zirla system. An announcement was also made by the Cercer Co., which coordinated a similar supply campaign for the Imperial Navy, you have performed a great service for the Empire. Payments have been authorized at Mitchell Hangar in the Cercer system. Marquis Felix Noventico, a retired military strategist, commented, tensions caused by Nova Imperium have triggered much activity of this kind. But for the Federation to do the same suggests concern about a potentially hostile Empire, should Hadrian Duval claim the throne. The next is entitled Crew Missing from Celebrity Starship, and reads, A luxury star yacht belonging to famous actor Consula Knight has reached its destination with nobody on board. The incident was reported by independent news feed The Sovereign, Consula Knight's beautiful ship often attracts admirers when it arrives at a starport. But on this occasion it also brought security forces, since the custom-built private yacht was completely empty. Investigators discovered that the ship was in perfect condition with all escape pods intact. There were signs of recent activity, such as unfinished meals and handheld equipment on the floor. Computer records confirmed the crew's presence until a few minutes before arrival, when all five people, including Ms. Knight simultaneously vanished. Engineering and hyperspace experts have begun analyzing data to unravel this mystery but there is no reason to believe there are any survivors of this phenomenon. The next is entitled Nova Imperium Musters Military Forces, and reads, 
the isolationist group Nova Imperium is reported to be assembling its forces in the Parisis system. Senator Denton Petros made this statement, we have evidence that this seditious organization is amassing an armada in its home system. It consists of ships crewed by Imperator Morton Tukis's ex-Navy followers, as well as the private vessels of many misguided citizens. As Admiral of the Fleet, I order Nova Imperium to disperse its forces immediately or face the consequences. The Imperial Herald's Kasia Carvalho commented, Widespread support for Hadrian Duval has led to Nova Imperium amassing its fleet in a very short time. The challenge for the Imperial Navy is to quash this threat without it being seen as a massacre of Imperial citizens, which can only fuel further rebellion. The next is entitled Countdown to Second Distant Worlds Expedition, and reads, Preparations are underway for the Second Distant Worlds Expedition, which will see a community of explorers cross the galaxy. Science correspondent Leon Bonarchi provided an overview for the Vox Galactica media outlet, the first distant world's mission, in 3302, was the largest fleet expedition in history, and saw over a thousand ships travel to Beagle Point and back. Distant Worlds 2 has even loftier ambitions, involving an impressive voyage through the heart of the galaxy, mapping unexplored regions and making new scientific discoveries. It will also involve the construction of a starport dedicated to the study of Sagittarius A star. Project leaders Erimus Kamsel and Dr. Key report that nearly 4,000 courageous commanders will take part, despite the risks involved, in a journey of over 200,000 light years. Distant Worlds 2 is scheduled to launch in January 3305, with the complete round trip lasting approximately 300 days. The next is entitled Supplies for Federal and Imperial Navies, and reads, An open order for military supplies has been placed on behalf of the Federal Navy by the League of Zir Law. A spokesperson for the organization gave the following statement, The Federal Navy urgently requires shipments of battle weapons, landmines, and performance enhancers to be delivered to Payson Hub in the Zir Law system. A parallel operation is being run by Imperial Faction the Cersor Co which announced, the Imperial Navy's Logistics Division has authorized us to process deliveries of battle weapons, reactive armor, and Imperial slaves. The drop-off point is Mitchell Hangar in the Cersor system. Both initiatives begin on the 3rd of January 3305 and will run for one week. If either initiative meets its targets earlier than planned, that campaign will end immediately. The next is entitled Vitadine Admits Nanomeds of Utopian Origin, and reads, Professor Katrian Rook has responded to Pranabantal's claim that her company's nanomedicines are of utopian origin, I confess that Vitadine Labs did not invent the nanomeds, but neither did we steal them. We were approached by independent pilots who discovered a crashed utopian transport ship. The recovered cargo canisters were clearly medical in nature, so the foragers sold them to us as legitimate salvage. I would be happy to return the original cargo to Utopia with our apologies. The new nanomeds that we have created are our property, however, and I insist that we be allowed to continue their manufacture. Pranavantal swiftly issued a reply, any derivative nanomedicines must also be returned to us, and production must cease. Our technology cannot be used outside Utopia. The Interstellar Health Organization has said that it will review the case and make a decision. The next is entitled Theft Ruins New Year Celebration, and reads, The theft of a spectacular work of art has soured New Year festivities for thousands of federal citizens. Kyoko McGrath, culture correspondent for the Federal Times, reported, a colossal hollow sculpture was due to be unveiled at midnight to mark the start of 3305. Inspired by the federal insignia, the intention was for the sculpture to be visible above Olympus Village, and seen by millions of people. But upon activation, the image that materialized was a gigantic cat's face, winking repeatedly. The original hollow sculpture code was later discovered to have vanished. Hyperspace philosophy. The Federal Security Service believes the culprit to be the same art thief who stole valuable works on Alioth and Neosh in Day 3, both of which were marked with an identical winking cat motif. There are no leads at present.
The next is entitled Alliance and Federation React to Nova Imperium, and reads, The leaders of the Alliance and the Federation have commented on the rise of the isolationist group Nova Imperium. Prime Minister Edmund Mahone told the Alliance Assembly, The civil unrest in the Empire is an internal matter, but it would be a major concern if it resulted in a policy change regarding inter-superpower cooperation. We are therefore watching the situation closely. In Congress, President Zachary Hudson said, If Nova Imperium comes to power and the Empire ceases contributions to Aegis, our combined defenses against the Dargoid threat will be jeopardized. In such a case, the Federation would be forced to intervene in order to safeguard humanity's future. Independent sources have confirmed that Federal Navy resupplies have increased in frequency. Fleet maneuvers have also taken place in regions bordering Imperial territory. Entered Super Cruise. My Python's fuel levels at 93% capacity. Information, Tolan is investing in its infrastructure. Full control re-established. Interesting. Yes, boys and girls, we're trying something Reminder, new tonight. You have a limpet controller but are not carrying any limpets. Welcome back, Commander. You have no missions at this time. You He's are good. docked at the surface station, Black Hide on WYRD Alpha 2 in the WYRD system. No, I'm not. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying Jump out. Jump in progress. I'm trying out, Eddie. My Python is en route to the Tolan system. Welcome home, Ensign. <laughs> Eddie's a little crazy. Well, we're going to find out what he can do. It's a plug-in for voice attack. I'm going to have to adjust his volume. He's a little loud. Super cruise in the vicinity of outpost, Pythagoras Landing. Eddie seems to want to tell me what I already know, but you know. We'll see. I think I need to try to figure out how I can edit Eddie. Docking complete. Engines disengaged. Local market price refresh obtained. The local market is selling beryllium at a good price as well as superconductors and indium. You could save nearly 3,000 credits by swapping out your heatsink launcher here. You could save over 308,000 credits by swapping out your cargo rack here. You could save over 308,000 credits by swapping out your cargo rack here. You could save over 308,000 credits by swapping out your cargo rack here. You could save over 111,000 credits by swapping out your cargo rack here. Reminder. You have a limpet controller, but are not carrying any limpets. No shit. I don't mind if he says all that. I just want it to be a little quieter, so let me work on that for a second. Like I said, Eddie's a little crazy. Uh, 
Alright. Volume of speech. Uh, I'm going to turn him down to about a third. Well, let's see what he does with that. Interesting. Galnet, uh, I don't really so much care. He seems to be over that. So, as we uh, proceed. Oh, I need to try to find a science ship. Where's my science ship? Welcome back, Commander. Right on. Okay. I see. We think we're doing stuff. We're not. Trying to make my ship more smart, or smarter, or not so stupid.
Let's get not stupid. notes in my shipboard database. Science vessel, where are you? Uh, it is in HIP 18 833. I need to try to figure out what kind of a system that is. It needs to be anarchy, or it's not going to work. Mm, it is anarchy. So now I will uh, try to find it. So I need my uh, recon limpet. What do I have? I don't have a recon limpet size four. Jazzbot. All right. Well, I don't need that many limpets. Now I got a recon limpet five. You have retrieved the five E recon limpet controller from storage and stored a five E cargo rack. Yes, I have. This dude started to freak me out. See limpets. We're going to get some data. One hundred and ninety-two limpets added to my Python's hold. Yes, it, yes, it, yes. That's true. My Python is now at maximum fuel capacity. Yes, it is. grab some data so I can finish getting my phasing sequence on my newly engineered weapons in this python. And then I'm going to get back to unlocking engineers. Quiet. My Python has jumped to super cruise. Yeah. 
It has. Alright, where is it? Oh, there it is. Side ship. 300 light years. 17 jumps. That's the way it goes. Checking systems now. <laughs> Complete. It's kind of funny. Ship's talking to itself. There are three orbital stations and a lone planetary station in this system. Information. is investing in its infrastructure. The ship is having a conversation with itself. That's kind of funny. Jumping to the next system. Jump in progress. My Python is heading to Batasha Sector Oxrod. Maximum velocity in point dash two five system. This Exit destination. Arrival in five. Have yet to colonize the system. <laughs> Eddie slows down John Delancey. Destination confirmed. Arrival in five. Federation Dunholm's well over 24,000 souls. The father is the leader. That's kind of cute. One orbital station in the system. Information. Gearnary is investing in its infrastructure. Some of what Eddie does is kind of neat. Second visit to the system. No human presence here. 
Key systems are at optimal levels, readying for exit. <laughs> That's so funny. My gun is now at 100% fuel capacity. Frameshift drive charging. I kind of like Eddie, but he interferes with uh, everything else. Destination confirmed. My Python is in transit to the hit to zero. Interstellar travel system. mode engaging now. You have entered Federation space. Space velocity you are no longer in Federation space. This is your first mission. Ross 598 is an independent gun of nearly 11 and a half thousand people. Ross 598 cooperative is the controlling power. There is just one orbital station and a single planetary station in this system. My flight modules tanks are now at 90%. Information. Ross 598 is gearing up to expand to another system. Frameshift drive charging. Maximum fuel. Kind of entertaining. Sounds like my ship has been assimilated by the Borg. Frameshift drive charging. It's kind of cool. Sector Foxtrot Lima 
X-ray Bravo 1-0 system. Exit destination confirmed. Arrival in five. to colonist the system. Interstellar travel mode engaging now. Sector 
Tigers of Rico Dash's frame shift is now engaged. No this anomalies detected. Visit to the system. Fuel tanks are at Key systems are at optimal levels. Engaging exit protocol. You're a little late to lazy. I'll see if I can work on that. Alright, let's see what my fire groups are. Let's see. I don't really need a collector limit right now. So let's put that. Um, don't need that. Put that there. Put that there. Frame shift drive charging. Check and see if I've got my data link scanner. Hyperspace velocity reach. This is your first visit to the system. Alright, let me check and see. Need my data link scanner. Oh, there it is. Alright, let me see if I can adjust Eddie here for a second. That gave myself a shot. We're burned up. Admit that's a little bit tricky. Uh, cargo monitor don't need command details. All right. Let's turn that off. And 
and turn off Galnet monitor. Material monitor. Well, well let's see what that is. Ship monitor. All right. Speech responder. Text to speech. All right. Let's try that. Just trying to tune my Eddie. Let's try that for a moment. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out something else here. So bear with me. I need my ship to run right. Welcome back, Commander. work on that later. Okay. Let's see if we can find that science ship now. The filters. Points of interest. No. Oh, not there yet. Is the uh, nav beacon? I don't even know if there is one. It's in E33. I don't think it's here. Usually. 
hopefully you can see uh, that's not it usually there is a nav beacon of some kind how do you not see it might have to go to plan B Well, it's definitely not here. But I was so hoping that was going to work. Alright. 18.8 to 33 is not where it is, so we have to go uh, looking. to go cruising around. I just have to. Hmm. I guess I have to chase it down. Yeah, very cute. I'm not going to be able to jump there. Silly machine. want to do that either.
Still six one half dozen another. Confirming exit point telemetry, stand by. No anomalies detected. This is your second visit to the system. Fuel tanks at 93%. Commander. Search a little bit for it, then I'm gonna go back and do some missions to get some data. Python is 
now at 100% fuel capacity. Frameshift drive charging. Maximum velocity engaged. This is your first visit to the system. Key systems are at optimal levels. Well, I'm thinking it's probably not here either. Well, it's probably in a non-anarchy system, so not going to work. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to go back and do passenger missions, because that's what you do to get grade 5 data, which we can trade down. Drive, yeah, we're only 12 jumps from home, so that's the way it goes. Is heading to the high. 
Via new sector noping the noping with dash zero bravo forward dash two system. This is your first visit to the system. Well, couldn't find it that way either. Frameshift drive charging. This way it goes. Interstellar travel mode system. engaging now. You are entering Federation space. This is the to the system. 101 Tori is a Federation nun of on the way to 4 billion people. 101 Tori labor is the immediate faction. There are seven orbital stations in this system. Current location is 122 light years from home. Fuel reserves are at 86%. Fuel is moving complete. I think I want to check that. He said I was 122 light years from home.
Wait a second. Huh. Well, he is a little handy. Frameshift drive charging. My ship has multiple personality disorder. Trying to fix it. Destination confirmed. My Python is heading to the Verso system. This is your first visit to the system. Verso Federation of a population of nearly 107,000 souls. Verso Crimson Partners is the controlling faction. There are two orbital stations and a single planetary station in the system. My Python's fuel levels at 92% capacity. Maximum fuel. Frameshift drive charging. system. You are leaving Federation Center. This is your first visit to the system. This system is not populated. You are 89 light years from home. Interstellar Travel Bravo engaging now. System. This is your first visit to the system. My Python's fuel levels now at 84%. Commander. Hey, there's two stars. Well, I don't want to run to the second one. As much fun as that would be. Interstellar travel mode engaging now. Six system. This is your first visit to this system. This system is not populated. You are 
Scanning for anomalies, none detected. Frame shift now engaged. No anomalies detected. Information. Tolan is investing in its infrastructure. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping disengaged. Okay, I'm going to step out for a second while my ship lands itself and uh, visit the commissary and I'll be back shortly. I'll leave y'all with Eddie. Deployed. 
successful. Engines disengaged. Local market information changes obtained. The local market is selling beryllium at a good price as well as superconductors and indium. From civilian pilot Captain Trasher, please cease your unauthorized scan immediately. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more ship maintenance and we'll see where we are. Still trying to teach Eddie what I need him to do. Let's try that.
Let's try that. Artificial intelligence, I wouldn't have to do any of that. It would do it for itself. Welcome back, Commander. And that's how I know we don't have artificial intelligence. I have to do it. Switched over. Oh, gotta get rid of limpets. First class. First class will give me grade fives, which is what I want. Been there, done that. vehicle. I also don't need a limit controller, but I don't really have anything to put on its place. Except maybe a fuel tank, so I'm going to do that. Guys, hey, why not? All right, see how much trouble I can get in. All right, we're gonna look for. Uh, Materials. And bulk missions. Um, it's grade four. I can also use biotech conductors.
probably bought it. Oh, wait, I thought there was another one.
Mission critical message. Oh, you know it. I'm the master of this particular solo mode. I don't know if I could be the master of docking with the station, I might be slightly happier. But no. Take her in hard. I'm gonna leave some bruises. Acknowledge, Commander. Clear for assisted docking. Landing gear deployed. says that to everybody. Modified embedded firmware. I don't do that and I just kind of zoom right out. What are you going to do?
again, Commander. Exit destination confirmed. Arrival in five.
Okay. Still trying to tweak my setup. Yes, I'll take biotech conductors. Let's see. Let's see if it goes crap. Yes, I think it definitely goes to crap. Well, maybe it's okay. We'll see. Yeah, they tell you how bad it can be, and then you try it, and it's really bad. So, let me see if I can turn that off. Boy, that got really bad. I do not know what Microsoft was thinking. Once you turn it on, turning it off is a real pain. See how I can get out of this. I 
am seriously embarrassed for Microsoft. Well, that's just not happening. Wow, that just takes the whole machine down. That is bad. just really sucks. You probably can't hear me.